Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. The Cam Kitchens have an awakening this past Saturday. Now, unless you've been sleeping on no rock, <laughs> Cam Kitchens had a had a day, you know, tackling, got a pick six, caught three interceptions. And the thing about the interceptions, what I really liked is on all three interceptions, he was attacking the football. Um, sometimes guys get those cheap interceptions where, you know, maybe the quarterback overthrows the receiver and the DB actually has a better opportunity at getting the ball than the wide receiver does. But Cam Kitchens really attacked all three, you know, interceptions. Um, he's kind of had some growing pains this year. Um, sometimes, you know, even though it's not, it's not so used, nowadays but there's such things as a sophomore slump where um you know maybe guys are trying to put too much on themselves if they played early as a freshman because cam kitchens for a true freshman last year played played really well uh the high, made a big highlight play last year against nc state where all year we had been struggling getting guys on the ground and for them to throw the ball short of the first down line and cam kitchens to come up and make a tackle, man, that was big. And so, obviously, there was some lofty expectations put on him, on his shoulders this upcoming year. Again, the way I look at it is like, look, I'm not going to put expectations on a player until the player it starts to perform at that particular level because a lot of times, even national pundits do it. They will see certain players and they just go ahead and they anoint them as such. And so, seeing as that a lot of people are sheep, and it's not a, a, a insult to anybody, but a lot of people are sheep, right? To where, well, if a national pundit said it, then that must be true. Even if you don't have the necessary amount of production to validate why said players rank the way that they're ranked. So, Cam Kitchens, you caught three interceptions. And not that I feel like that any fan base, whether they're Miami fans or they're fans of the other team, you shouldn't be held to a three interception um, ceiling or, or a potential. But seeing as that we know that you can play at this level now, then the, the key for Cam the rest of the season is just to be consistent, right? We have a big game coming up this Saturday, so it would be beautiful if Cam is able to make his presence felt. I'm not saying he has to get, you know, three interceptions. I'm not even saying he has to catch an interception. But being in a position to play assignment football, right? Um, a lot of times quarterbacks will simply not throw the ball deep if they see that that guy is over the top. And so that's what Cam was able to do this week. He played over the top, which obviously we have had some communication er errors. And from <laughs> Twitter, obviously there's there's something going on in the DB room. So I'm not I'm not the gossip you know page. Don't want to be the gossip page. So I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna touch on that. Not saying that pages that are touching on are gossip. I'm just saying that is just gossip to me because um, we've had parents tweet at coaches in the past and you know so. But now it's all about world's culture and but you know whatever the situation is. But kudos to Cam Kitchens. Um, what well, something I saw today. Uh, somebody posted, you know, I, any, anytime, you know, certain things, you know, pop out, uh, you know, they bring up the rankings, right? And so I think I saw Cam's uh, dad on, uh, yeah, it was his dad on, on Canesville. And he was, you know, speaking about the rankings, you know, how Cam started at one number and then as, the, you know, as the season concluded, he ended up at another number. And again, man, you know, that's why I don't get into recruiting for, you know, it's just, it's just too many things. It's kind of like, I remember like the source magazine for anybody that was the source magazine, the source was a Northern based magazine. Right. And so a lot of people in the South felt that the source magazine actually looked over the music and rated the, the albums that came out of the South lower while showing a, a certain type of bias. So again, we don't really know who these, evaluators are of talent or what it is that they're doing to break down this particular stuff. But at the end of the day, as the old saying goes, it's not how you start, it's how you finish, right? So whatever, there's going to be mis-evaluations. NFL make mis-evaluations. Colleges make mis-evaluations. It's just mis-evaluations, right? So 
uh, it's easy to hindsight point back and say, see, he should have been this and he should have been that. But, you know, that's just what it is. But, again, kudos to Cam Kitchens. As I've said on the past video, Cam Kitchens is my favorite player on this entire football team, followed by Jacoby George. And I was ecstatic because preseason, and I still remember, a lot of y'all said it's going to be JW and Avante starting. And the thing about it is, while JW and Avante may possess abilities that Cam doesn't, Cam is a pure safety, right? Cam is a pure safety. So, whereas James can play at all three levels, he can play safety, he can play a linebacker, he can rush the passer. Uh, Tay has uh, ability to uh, maybe even line up one-on-one -on -one and be, you know, play corner, right? But from a pure safety standpoint, Cam has that, right? And so it's just great to see him have a bounce back game. Um, on one of my videos last week, if y'all saw it, I was, you know, I, I asked the question like what Brandon Mary would have said. Who who wants to play that they weren't going to like? Who wants to play like they want to go first round? And I picked Cam Kitchens. So we's a, we're a week late, you know, but you know it, it is what it is. And like I said, uh, the kids are still learning, and you know, so it's 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 just great to see him, you know, play that you know play that way, and we know he can play that way now. So, you know, seeing as that we know you can play at that particular level, um, not only the fans, right, because we're, we're irrelevant in the grand scheme of things, but the coaches are going to want to see you play at that level moving forward. So that's the thing about a lot of the guys that, that, that we have kind of put a lot of stock in is that how consistent can you be? How consistent can you be? And that has been the issue with a lot of the guys is just the uh, consistency. But I know Cam is a hard worker. I know that obviously a lot of people doubted him, still doubt him right now, even after the three interception game, right? But um, I'm not going to do what some people are doing, like with the quarterback room, uplift one player to down another player, because I see some people doing that uh, with with Tay as well as James. But, I mean, let's just be happy that the guys are playing, man. You know what I mean? Let's, let's be happy that the previous staff was able to make some good evaluations and get some guys – in the building that play like what we think Miami Hurricane players should play like. And, and that's all we can ask for at the end of the day, right? But as always, it's all about the you. Got holding the phone with the other hand, so it's all about the you. So like, subscribe, share, and comment. And we'll see y'all again next time. Peace.